Hi lovely air signs, welcome to Joy Energy Tarot, I'm Jenny. This is your intuitive guided reading for the month of October and I hope it resonates with you. If it does, please push like, subscribe and notify. If it doesn't, that's fine, watch another lovely reader. Okay, I've done all the shuffling um, so that we don't have to waste time on the video. And then we've got lovely guided messages that you need to hear. So if you wait around, you'll find out what they are. Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. Happy birthday to all you Librans out there and all the other people who've got Libra as a moon sign or ascendant as well. Let's move on and start with our lovely Louise Hay. Her message for the month is, all my changes are easy to make. Very important. All my changes are easy to make. In order to change my life outside, I must change inside. The moment I am willing to change, it is amazing how the universe uh, brings help to me. It brings me what I need. Isn't that great? So if you're ever struggling, affirmations and writing things down, um, scripting, um, things like that uh, help change your life. Okay? Right, let's get on with it. What do you need to know this month? Well, this is interesting. You start off with the Eight of Swords, which you've got your guard up, you've... Um, Shut yourself away. This is a card of stinking thinking and blocking things from coming to you. When your little soul is ready, you will let your guard down because it's like you're happy to do this, happy to shut yourself away. But what it's doing is you're thinking that things from the past um, are going to influence what you're doing now or you're scared that something's going to happen the same as it happened in the past. When you're doing this, you're stopping good things from coming for, to you. You're blocking things. This is a card of feeling absolutely trapped, okay? So change the way you look at things so that you are, don't feel so trapped. And then, because then you've got a new beginning, there's an opportunity com coming up and it's like jump in, don't have any regrets or anything like that, any doubts. It's a life learning opportunity, go for it. And then you've got, yeah, you've got these choices to make and you'll be wondering, oh my God, do I do it? Don't I do it? It will involve some sort of separation uh, for some of you, you're carrying a, a sad heart from a past breakup or something like that. Um, so, but this is like, you know, there's, there might be, say, a job in another town, but you'll be separated from your family, that sort of thing. Uh, so you've got a choice coming up, a decision to make. Some of you might be just feeling sad because you've got family who aren't around you. Then you've got after the first week, at the end of the first week, by the way, there's no time in the universe or in the spirit world. So whenever you watch this, it's the right time for you. You end the week with the Queen of Pentacles. So you'll make that choice, you'll make that decision, and it's going to make you feel really, really good. This is where you're stable, you're strong, you're grounded. You are very good with money and you've made sacrifices to get where you are so that you feel good with your money. Now, if this isn't you, there's somebody there who can give you advice who is like that. Then you move into the second week and you've got the Empress card. So if you're thinking of doing something um, new or going out on your own and doing something, this card is wonderful. The Empress card is a, um, a card of attracting abundance. This is usually dealing with um, people in counselling, um, caring for people, looking after people. Something where you help people, you might be making cakes for people or helping people in their gardens. It's where you're creating things and bringing joy and happiness and you are attracting good things into your life. Then you've got the four of pentacles. Actually, I think everybody's got this. This is a card where you've got your money balanced, you've got it organized, you're standing on your little nest egg or what you've been able to save up, um, but you're not letting go of your money, you're holding on to it too tightly so that you're forgetting to go out and have some fun. Then, But then you've got the dearest wish card, so you've got this card there, so that means that you can aim for what it is that you really, really want. Uh, you want to be bring in happiness or joy or something that you're aiming for. You've got that ability to do that. Okay, so you've got to work out what your dearest wish, wish is and then go for it. I feel that for some of you, that dearest wish is to have your money all balanced and organized. But the Empress card, when you're attracting abundance, that can be your dearest wish too, doing something on your own. But by the end of that week here, some of you are looking at things negatively. You might be looking at the glass half empty instead of the glass half full. Fives are about choice, change, freedom. So change the way you look at things. Others might be feeling sad because there is, has been a loss in your life or you're carrying that loss with you. 
but you've one step forward and you've got lots of cups of happiness here waiting for you. So make that change. Use affirmations if it's something like, um, if it's something to do with work or thinking that you're not good enough for something or um, that you haven't got enough money, anything like that, use affirmations like money flows easily to me, happiness flows easily to me. And then we move on to, oh my God, everyone's had that. Oh, sorry, I thought it was a strength card. It's a temperance card. This is about um, you being strong, you're being guided, but whatever you're waiting uh, waiting for is you have to have patience. So you're waiting for something. You have to be patient and that will help you get the balance back into your life. And it's going to bring about the ending of, by being patient, you've got the ending of worrying. So this is where you've been waking up or you've been overthinking everything, you've been worrying about things. So write down the pros and cons of your choices. And I tell you what, it really works because I was making a decision one day and I thought it was 50-50 and when I wrote it down, it was like 90-10. So it really does work. Um, so that worrying is coming to an end, but you're still pausing, still thinking or overthinking something. And I think what it is, you're overthinking um, it may not be worrying, it could be overthinking something that you're doing here. You're working with other people to achieve something. For some of you, it's a business um, thing and you're waiting for your ships to come home where you've worked really hard in collaboration with others. For some of you, you're planning a holiday and you're waiting for the perfect time. No such thing. But this is, to me, threes are joyful and happy. So it's about being happy and planning that happiness Um and I think that some of you are worried, but you're working with other people to overcome whatever it is that you've been worried about. Then you've got the seven of wands. So this is about breaking through fears, false emotion appearing real. You're aiming for something. It might be a new job. It might be a new house. It might be a, some sort of change. It's in the physical world, though, that you've had lots and lots of setbacks and you've been, here's your hopes and goals up here, like maybe a new house or a new land or something you want to do, but you've been blocked and you've had things go wrong. So overcome those fears because don't give up. Whatever it is that your goals are and what you're wanting to achieve, you are nearly there, so don't give up. Then you've got um, conflict. So you've got conflict around you or conflict inside you about what you want to do, where you want to go, where you want to live, where you want to be, what course you want to study. But you're going to learn from that. Fives again, change, choice, freedom. You choose to learn from the conflict and be able to take that knowledge with you to be able to move on because that's going to bring about the ending of that worrying. That situation where you've had conflict going on and you've been upset is now coming to an end. It's actually ending. It's dead, done, dusted, over. Okay, so by the end of the month, worrying will be over and then you'll be sitting there feeling like you have risen up out of the dust, you are reborn, you're feeling stronger, you're feeling in control again, you're feeling happy. This is where you're in, You're the boss, you're in charge of your emotions now, you're in charge of your work, you're in charge of your home, you're feeling very, very happy. And that's going to enable you, if that's not you, there's somebody around you like that that can help you, but that's going to enable you to leave behind that past sadness, those past emotions, um, this is being able to move forward or leave behind that situation. It's dead, done, dusted. That situation is finished. It's over. Covering the whole reading. Yes. Fantastic. Chariot. Victory. Overcoming karmic debt, karmic things from past lives. Um, overcoming everything. All of those things now, the challenges, you've overcome the whole lot. This is fantastic. This is where you're now able to move forward. You've got the golden egg. You're able to move forward. Some of you might be planning a trip overseas and some might be buying a new car. But this is overcoming all of those um, challenges you've had to go through. And now you've got an invitation or an, um, an invite or a, a, an offer coming in for you. And it's lovely. It's given with love. And you have to stand there and use your own intuition to work out whether you want to accept it. And you have been carrying a lot of burdens like the ten of wands is about the harvest is now coming in or the results from all that hard work is coming in but that situation has ended now it's over you've ended up with um like could end up with a sore back so watch out for some of you this is when you're overworked and you're exhausted for some of you so just be a little bit careful you can change that but for others of you that have been carrying a lot of burdens for 
10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months, 10 years, that situation is now over and you can now see the truth. This is where um, information is coming to light to do with the past and now you can see the truth. You are being guided. Um, learn from it. Um, learn, keep the emotions out of it, looking at things logically. So there's news, information like phone calls, emails, things like that coming in. And then guess what? The world's your oyster. You've earned your angel wings, the world, the universe is looking after you. You're being offered at the beginning of a new chapter in your life now. You can leave those things in the past where they belong. So that's fabulous. Okay, Libra, what is happening for you this month? You are worth it. You get a few of these, actually. So just remember, you are worth it. We're using this lovely book, Nature Whispers, which resonates really well with Libra, I think. Libra, Libra, Libra. You are, whoops, why did I put that? 23, 23. Absolutely gorgeous art by Angela Hartfield. Look at that. The only way you can accept, respect and cherish others is by accepting, respecting and cherishing yourself. Accept praise and credit when it is given to you. When you learn to be accepter, you allow the tr your true potential to blossom. You claim your worth and reflect that light to others. When you see yourself in this light, other people cannot help but respond to your personal sense of value. As you strive towards more self-love each day, you'll find yourself infused with new energy. It is okay to walk away from relationships that minimise or hurt you. Enjoy and love who you are. Okay, Libra. And well done. Keep up the good work. You are heading in the right direction and you are nearly there. So persevere. Okay, persevere. And energy. Try to keep a positive energy by surrounding yourself with positive people, Libra. Really important. You don't want any of those negative naysayers in your life because they drain you. And you want to be living your life, especially Libra. And you need to have balance and calm and harmony. So any of those um, shit stirrers, kick them to the curb. <laughs> Gemini, you got uh, the big picture. You actually got poor. You got two of them. You got paws. And then um, the big picture. So I think you need to pause to look at the big picture. Look at that. Beautiful. There is so much more going on than you realise. When we get up in our heads and overthink things, Gemini, we start to miss much of what is going on in the world around us. You might be trying to micromanage a situation, control in other words, and are too focused on the small details. Try looking at this from different angles. If you've been struggling with a problem or a tough situation, this card can signal that you will find the answers if you stand back and view everything from a larger perspective or someone else's point of view, Gemini. And then you got from our lovely spirit cards from Belinda Patton, do it now. Immediate action is required in this situation. There is a sense of urgency in the air. Do not wait any longer and act now. And you got two of these, positive. This is the divine directions. Enjoy this positive time. Smile. Know that everything is going well. And be proud. Be proud of who you are, where you've been, and where you are going. Okay, Gemini. And now, Aquarius. New experiences and possibilities. All that goes hand in hand with the full card. New experiences and possibilities. Look around in nature. Notice the new beginnings, new experiences and new choices being shown to you. They will only be evident to you if you take the time to look for these subtle messages. Aquarius, you are on the first steps along a new path. You're being offered a blank page. What are the first words you would like to write on it? Your possibilities are endless. You are in complete control of your life. This is a new beginning on your journey. Live in the present and trust in your own abilities. Plant your seeds and willingly venture into new territory. Okay. And then you got two of these. Surprise. An exciting surprise is coming your way. An opportunity or offer, a gift or proposal. Something that will make your heart sing for joy. 
and you also got man. A man or masculine energy is surrounding this situation at present. So that will resonate with some of you, but maybe not all of you. And you got teach. You have a wonderful gift for working with others. Have you considered teaching or teaching aid? Or doing teaching after school, homeschool, or an after school care thing? Who knows? Anyway, I hope you guys have the most amazing October. And blessings to you all. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.